Libra placements. How are we? Let's see who you are reading. Libra. Let's see. Wow, Libra. You have someone here that is secretly keeping an eye on you, waiting to catch you slip so that they can use it against you. And you know, the, the weird part about this is that they are teamed up with someone else. This is someone that is jealous of you. This is someone that you could possibly have history with. This is not a stranger. Maybe you, you disconnected from this person or you ghosted this person or you left them behind or whatever. You have history with this person. This can be a lover, a friend, um, family. This can be a family member that you stopped talking to, a friend that you no longer in contact with, an ex-lover. This person is waiting for you to slip. So they can be like, aha, look, look, Libra. Look, Libra is doing something dumb. And the weird part about this is they're not alone in this, meaning that they have someone else on their side that they have them focus on you as well. So this person specifically teamed up with someone that is trying to catch you slip in order to use that against you through ruining your reputation, through pulling something that they can use against you legally, like sue you or, um, I don't know, like something, something legal. It, it could involve the legal system here so that they can disrupt what you have going on. And really what this person, why this person is doing this is out of hurt. I feel like it's almost like they want to punish you for um, disconnecting with them. And they are like hiding in the shadows, you know, you know, like, you know, when you, when, when someone is like hiding behind something, just keeping an eye on you, it's like, it's giving me coward energy. This is not the type of person that will come to you and say, hey, Libra, you hurt me. Let's talk about it. This is the type of person, oh, Libra hurt me, so I'm going to try to destroy you, Libra, so that I can feel better about my hurt. This is definitely a revenge of some kind, but this revenge is childish, um, it's um, cowardice, it's like you're dealing with a teenager of some kind, or, you know, someone that hasn't developed <laughs> you know what I mean? They haven't mentally developed in order to deal with their problems like a fucking adult. So instead, what they do is they try to keep an eye on you and watch you and predict your moves and try to see if you're doing something wrong so that they can use it against you. Because they don't like the fact that you think 
disconnecting with them is the right thing to do. And so they want to punish you for that by trying, trying, trying to turn something against you. Will they be successful? Mm. <laughs> you know what will happen here, Libra? You will continue to win in life while this person is watching you win, hoping for you to slip, wasting their life watching you. Just when this person thinks they have something on you, they will be faced with some type of obstacle that keeps them hopeless in trying to bring you down. And they will continue on feeling like they get close to destroying you, but then fail. And this feeling of getting close is going to keep them hooked towards trying to bring you down, destroy you. But then the joke is on them because they're wasting their life, their years. It's just interesting that I say years. Maybe this person has been doing this for a while. So they're wasting their life, their years, not focusing on their life, bettering their life, while you continue to win. It's almost like there is a punishment in that in itself for this person trying to get to you like that. <sighs> This is definitely jealous hater energy. It's like, well, if you don't want me or if you don't like me, I'm gonna make you pay for it. You know, it's, you know sometimes when you reject someone, they don't take it well. It's like they become aggressive or passive aggressive with it. That's what we have here. Someone here that cannot uh, respect boundaries or respect no. Uh, they don't understand. No, no is basically a personal attack to this person. You know what I mean? So they're taking that rejection, that disconnect uh, personally, and they think that them trying to destroy you is justified because how dare you reject me? Really, this person is continuing to hurt themselves in the process because like I said they're wasting their life and their potential while trying to get to you what else do you want to say about this is there anything you want to say about this Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. This is not to, you know, make you worry. This energy that we pulled is not to make you worry. This is to let you know that you're doing something right. Because when people feel rejected and they take it personally, it's their problem, not yours. So this is basically telling you, do what you think, feel is best for you and continue on that path. Keep focusing on yourself. Keep focusing, keep focusing on yourself. Keep allowing yourself to expand, grow. You know, it's you versus you. It's, it's never you versus someone else. Keep growing, expanding while this person wastes their life trying to hunt you down. If you feel any negative energy sent your way, just rebuke it, don't claim it. For example, if you feel like energetically there is something off, you feel like uh, eyes watching you even though there is no one around you, it's this person's energy. And this is not to scare you, this is to empower you. This is basically telling you they can't get to you. And they will be wasting their life trying to. So, 
you show up as the Libra. <laughs> uh, you show up as the Empress. You will continue to be blessed while this person and whoever they teamed up with waste their time. They can watch you all they want. They can try to bring you down all they want. They will not be successful. They will fail and continue to fail. They will think they got close at some point, which will motivate them to continue to, to try. But they will continue to fail. You, on the other hand, developing, upgrading, leveling up. While these losers watch you intensely trying to catch you doing something illegal or doing something that is inappropriate or trying to ruin your reputation. Let them watch. I mean, I always say, you know, haters are secret admirers. And that's exactly what they are. Because they can't walk with you. They try to pull you back to them. You know, they can't walk beside you because you're not on their level. They're offended by that. It's like, how dare you? So they try to bring you down instead. But not realizing that you are the fucking magician. You transmute that negativity into motivation to be even better. So the energy they are sending you, you are actually transmuting. You are not someone that sits in this negative energy and says, oh, I'm a victim. You pull that energy and transmute it into something that is better than what you already have. And that is true power. And they will spend lifetimes trying to understand this shit. Because, like I said, they are mentally not developed to think like that. So, let this message empower you. Continue doing the work. Continue focusing on yourself. Continue upgrading. While these haters waste their life focusing on you and what you do. In fact, when people focus on you and what you do instead of their own life, you're doing something right. Because they are subconsciously telling you that their life is not as important as yours, so they, they neglect their life and focus on yours. <coughs> you know what I mean? All right, we'll pull you another message, and that message will be for the Libra extended reading that is linked in the description box. This second message, Libra, I will give you a preview of, but we will take that energy to the uh, extended, okay? Let's see. slowly but surely someone here has a crush on you and they and they think they're making progress this is why I heard slowly but surely they think they're making progress towards you but it's it's almost non-existent progress <laughs> It's almost too slow to even notice, but hey, progress is progress, no matter how slow, right? Wow. They see you as a king or a queen, you know, they see you as someone that is like, wow, 
Libra. Wow. Wow. So I do see them moving towards you. I, you know, I do have a feeling that most of you don't know who this is, but some of you could know who this is. Some of you have kind of like noticed this person crushing on you. But let's see where this goes. I'll see you in the extended. <laughs> 